Today I'll show you how to install the Actitech Access Manager Suite, or AMS for short. First, you must ensure that the system you're installing the AMS on meets the minimum hardware and software requirements. Mainly, you'll need a dual-core 2 GHz or faster CPU, 4 GB or more memory, 20 GB or more storage space, and 100 megabits per second or faster network controller. In terms of software, you'll need to run Windows 7, 8, or 10 professional, 32 or 64 bit, or a Windows Server 2008, R2, SP1, or a Windows Server 2012, or above. The system must also either have Microsoft SQL 2008, 2012, 2014, or 2016, MySQL, Oracle, or a SAP database. Finally, the system must have a .NET Framework version of 2.0 or 3.51 for AMS versions 1.0.1.28 to 1.0.1.33 and a .NET Framework version of 4.0 for AMS versions 1.2.3.40 and above. For this tutorial, I'll be using Windows 10 Professional, the latest version of the AMS, and a Microsoft SQL Server 2014. We will begin by installing the database. If you already have a database installed, you may skip this step. Microsoft SQL Server 2014 can be found on the official Microsoft website, shown here. Download this if you haven't already. When you run this file, it should produce a folder. In this folder, run the setup.exe. When this window appears, click the top button and follow the installation. Ensure that all of these boxes are ticked before you proceed. For this tutorial, I'll be setting a password for the database administrator. This password will be the number one. Once the database has been installed, simply click close to finish. Now we must install the IIS. Open Control Panel, then go to Programs, Programs and Features, then turn Windows Features on or off. Navigate to the Internet Information Services category and tick every box except for the one labeled FTP Server. Click OK to install the IIS. This installation could take a while. Simply click Close when it's finished. Now we can open the IIS Manager. Click the Start button in the top right if it hasn't already started. Then click View Application Pool and find Default App Pool. Click Basic Settings and change the .NET Framework version to the appropriate version for your AMS installation. Then minimize the IIS Manager. Now we can install the AMS. Ensure that all of these folders are in the AMS installation folder, then run the setup.exe. Follow the installation wizard. Once the AMS installation is finished, it should automatically open up to localhost slash access manager. Clicking any button will bring you to a page prompting you for your activation key. If you do not have one, please either contact your local vendor or email your AMS product key and sales number to support at actatech.com. Once you've activated your AMS, you may log in. The default username is admin and the password is the number one. To finish setting up the AMS, we have to go to Control Panel and then Configure Database. Select the type of database that you have installed. Input the database server address and port if required. Put in the database name, username, and password. Then click Setup. Once this is done, go back to Control Panel, then click Setup System. Input a terminal group name. Change the server IP if required. Select a time zone. Change the agent server IP address and port if required. And create a magic string, in this case 12345. Then click Setup. Once this is finished, you will have successfully installed the AMS.